What's up, Sassy Gamers, and welcome to Got Our Attention Podcast. This is Season 3, Episode 17. Oh, we're still kicking it. And this is uh, this is Mike, your host. I'm, I'm the host today, as always. That's with Mike. Me, just today. With me. Just, just today. Just today. You're the Maybe. Host. I mean, you know, today could be my last. You never know. So uh, with me today is Speaking Day Drinker ATL and also Phoenix Nova. Hello. How are you doing? If you're watching right now, we just waved at you. If you didn't, oh, good this is your you're not watching the page. Shit, <laughs> I forgot to wave. Yeah, we should just start narrating this like a like an audio book from it's, like. Oh no, you don't choose your own adventure. Mm. Well, not even the choose your own adventure. Just like like when, uh, yeah, uh, when you're yeah. ready to turn the page. You don't even know the half of it. Yet. Oh, Siri's talking to me. Oh. <laughs> Who? Jesus. Siri. And we're going to pause the podcast now for this message from <laughs> Siri. Siri. From this Kelly is, uh, Siri. I am not happy about that. But go away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, actually, that's a good point. I do hate that. He, he, don't, don't, like, don't worry. He's not. You're fine. You're still there. Oh, my you're God. Okay. Anyway, I, it's one of the things listen, that. So, like, like I told my boss, you can be mean to your Siri, but not to mine. I'm okay. Not. Two things. My Siri is good. She's learning. Be nice. Two, so okay. two things I saw today. One was there's this shock, shocking. I know a sudden mm. boom in Amazon books written by Chat GPT. Yeah, I could see that. And is it the, other Chat GPTs well, buying it? Well, wait a minute. Yeah, who's <laughs> buying it? I, I mean, mean, there's tons of little books like self-published yeah. books on Amazon that, that people pick up for real cheap. But uh, I didn't, also, I didn't I say anyone was buying it. I said there was a sudden boom of books available on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the other thing I saw was a video of like, make $275,000 a year with YouTube shorts written by chat GPT. <laughs> First of all, how do you have enough data to know you're going to make yeah, $275,000 a yeah. year on shorts written by chat GPT when like, it, I mean, chat GPT has been around for a while, but it hasn't been mm-hmm. like, like open, open oh. beta for that long. That is definitely an exponential. <laughs> All right. Exponential forecast. Like no way. <laughs> I have something to go back to before we get oh, okay. lost. <laughs> okay. Are we no, I was going to say again? like, well, no, we're talking about your watch. So AI, we're talking like about yours AI. goes off randomly. Okay. I was going to say, like, who hates the fact, like when you're doing something around the house, that's unrelated to even saying anything related to the names of the devices. But yet they're like already responding to you like, yeah, sorry, I, I don't know how to handle toast in the fridge or something like, I don't know, just weird. But it's like, <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> like, I wasn't talking to you. I don't have that I, problem. I am thrown off oh, by... Sorry. <laughs> my watch or my phone sometimes, but it's usually b- because I've done something. Um, mm-hmm. I do know other people's phones who will suddenly just start responding randomly or start oh, listening randomly. I, so I had um, a customer that I used to have conference call two customers actually that used to have conference calls with named Terry in Siri that I was saying her name uh. instead of their name. All right, take a pause because so, it's listening. You said her name already like twice. <laughs> but I would say, hey, the person's name. And she would be like, yes. Or, yes. Mm-hmm, or what can I help you with? Yeah. Uh, so that was a little. It, so I, I, I would forget to like, like block my phone. But I have heard of other people with their Alexas like being like, oh, and yeah. that not being okay. Yeah. Well, it's like we have a, a Volkswagen ID four, right? Okay. It's one of the, the EV vehicles that uh, Volkswagen's made and it has a built in car thing too. So it's great. It's like, it does have Android auto. So if you have Google, you can use that, which is great because then you just have your assistant in the car, but they actually also have an assistant for the car, which is, you have an assistant for your assistant. Yeah, so the car, <laughs> I have to say... We're like two assistants that were hired by two different mm. temp agencies that were both assigned to you, and they're jealous of each other and fighting. 
<laughs> so <That's> my job <laughs> in order to get the car to listen to me, I have to say, hello, ID. And it comes back with okay. like the most like, like, uh, like elementary school teacher voice. It's like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, like, what? Was yeah. That? Like, she's like, sit down, Michael. Michael. She's just like, <laughs> like, she'll just be like, uh, attention. There is traffic <laughs> coming up on the road ahead of you. But what's hilarious is it happens like 30 minutes after like Google <laughs> has already told me that. So I'm like, Aww. Google's already like, hey, traffic's in front of you. Watch out. You're like, all right, cool. I'll prepare. And then it's like after we drive past it, it's like, hello <laughs> or attention. <laughs> there is traffic congestion ahead of you. It's like, you ever thought about just like it's it not off? even good. You know, I actually need to look. Yeah. I don't yeah, know if I you- can. Yeah, you I'm I'll sure you can. I yes, guarantee. You can. Well, you can't. You can, but the problem is, or the the question is, is it always off? Then you know. I know. Now you're. It's, yeah, no, it's, it still listens, but. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. So. But yeah, that's so annoying. <laughs> so, uh, kind of breaking news. This just came out today, or at least the the notification of it did. Uh, Sony is going to have a state of play on thursday originally when i saw it they said the 24th and i was like oh man that's friday we're going to be at the atlanta yeah. comic convention but uh no it's actually going to happen thursday the 23rd at 4 p.m eastern now mind you anyone listening to us podcast youtube whatever this will be unless you're a patreon past. unless you're a patreon <laughs> yeah but most likely this will be in the past but uh, it, chances are next time you hear see us, uh, we'll probably have something to say about that. The only thing that I, uh, they're going to talk more about PSVR. And we know that's Mike's favorite thing since we showed him the horror game where he blinks and the mannequins move. Oh um, my God. Let's talk about that. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that. But the, the only other thing I say is they're, they're going to say two more PSVR games. And they're also going to show, I think, 15 minutes of gameplay from uh, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which is one of the games I'm excited about. So it's gonna be good. Uh, I forgot the release date. I'll look it up but while we're talking about what was that other game's name? Vandor oh, or? no, it was. Um, I'm looking it up. Way to, way to be prepared, Kelly. Uh that's your secret. You're never. I've, I've already seen someone have a let's play video of that game already. Really? Yeah. There it is. Switchback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, apparently, a channel uh, called Virtual Reality Oasis seven days ago has <sighs> this video for Switchback VR. Nice. Um, okay, so Switchback VR. Uh, Brian and I saw a an interview. Um, I don't remember where the interview was, Brian, if you do, let me know. I'm looking it up. Um, but it's a very cool PSVR game where one of the components. Amazing. Cool in my, my, my definition of cool as, as as a horror game lover, uh, as one of the, one of the mechanics of this game. Yeah. One of the mechanics of this game in a specific scenario within the game is when you blink, it sees that. And then one of the scenes, the, uh, I, I, I've already, we've already said they're mannequins. The mannequins move. Oh well, yeah. I'm going to be showing them. And you blink again and they move again and they so, multiply. And so it's like, basically don't blink because it's going to make it scarier and scarier, which I think, I think is I'm just going to incredible. I think I'm just going to blink a lot. Like oh. that's what I would do. No, you let wouldn't it be over. Oh, yeah. Oh, if whatever. You keep blinking, if you keep blinking, they'll just keep moving. And it, no, yeah. and it, no, no, they come closer to you and they're like yeah. in your face and they're then they attack super you. Fast. No, yeah, right. And then you no. die. So if you die, then it starts over or you're not you, there anymore. Which just so means that you'll have to live I, through it again. Then you have to do it again to get past so the level, amazing. Mike. Yeah. I mean, I'm out. <laughs> what? Uh, you're no, out until it's October. 
unsubscribe. I, listen, it is. It doesn't there, work. There's just nothing so you know. wrong with it. Um. So yeah, this is from the interview. This is a don't blink room, and there's all these mannequins, and every time you blink, they move, and sometimes. <laughs> They move a lot. And who's wait? Who? So just real quick, the interview is with who? Uh, the developer. So um, the develop yeah. from who makes the dark picture from anthology. Switchback. Uh, but also, but I, I want to make sure that we we give credit to. This is on the PlayStation. Um, this is uh, directly on the PlayStation YouTube channel. So I don't know who the the uh, interview okay. is. I'll look at, I'll see if I can find out in a second after we show the mannequins really good. But, um, oh my geez. God. It was it's a nice. very, it's, it's a seated It was game. a fun interview. Yeah. Uh, they, they talk about the fact that you get used to the man- mannequins like moving when you blink, but then they're, but that's only in the yeah, don't blink okay, rooms. Mike. In other places, they, you know, might move even when you're not blinking. Mm hmm. Uh, and it's, it's cool. Cause it's like, they talked about it being on tracks and you can feel the clack, clack, clack of the tracks in your hand, in yeah. your hands. Cause the haptic feedback, Lauren Carter. Is there okay. There? Um, and even Thank better you. is she described this time where he, she's like, I saw you ducking down in this meat tunnel. <laughs> yes. At meat tube earlier, she meat says tube, she's right meat there. Tube, yes, and and what it is 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 you're going through this tunnel, and it's got all these hands sticking out of the walls and the ceiling, and the guy's like, if you don't duck fast enough, it hits you in the head, and the haptic feedback in the VR helmet goes off. So, like, you're like <laughs> I mean, it's it's not the same as feeling a hand there, but I mean, it's it's a little bit of haptic, so you feel this like kind of bump and stuff. It's, so. I mean, I, I, yeah, gosh, one, definitely one of PSVR two, but also I kind of need a PlayStation to use. Well, like that's, that's the problem the, though, because it's the PS I think everybody needs in a PSVR two. It's to, oh, even to, you. No, I mean, Mr. Like, Mr. I don't own a console. Oh, okay. To, to get there without a game, you're already spending a thousand dollars, 500 for a PS five. 550 for the PS VR two. And then the game, I mean, I don't know how much this one is, but I imagine it's, you know, it's probably 40 to $60 somewhere around. Yeah. There. Some yeah. of the dark anthology or the dark picture anthologies were uh, a bit cheaper, but um, they, they obviously put a lot of effort into this one. So, I mean, kudos on them if they're charging more. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, don't want to take up too much time with that. That was just amazing. And who knows, maybe it'll show up for Shocktober. No, it won't. None of us are going to spend Un- that kind of unsubscribe like that. That's too <laughs> that doesn't much work. money Mate. for a gag. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> Way too much money for a gag. I, I like how you're you're money. trying to act like you're on my side, but like I know you want one anyway. So oh, no, I do not want a PSVR. Mm-hmm. I, I see about that. I 100 percent do not because you can't hook it up to your PC. So then you're stuck in that's like true. everything's in the PS5. At least with an o- Oculus Quest 2, it's standalone. Yeah. You can plug it into your PC. It'll work both on the, the Oculus Store as well as Steam VR. So it's a lot more open. So if you see something somewhere else, you can go and you know play that you know play that game. Uh, I have zero interest in having a PSVR 2. I mm-hmm. I don't play the PlayStation. I'll remember that. It is. Mike will remember that. Michael will remember that again. <laughs> yep. I, like, so I got a question I for you guys. Funny, but I'm not going to spend six hundred dollars funny for you. Yeah. All right. Got Mike. a question for question. you. Question. You got to pick one. Oh, is this and a would you rather? Why. Kind of. Okay. <sighs> and I mean, really light. Like, don't go crazy with the answer. Like, we don't want to go too crazy. Stop. Do you know me? Stop. Do you stop. know me? Stop. There's Doing 15 minutes into the lead in. This is why the podcast I gets so always long. Just go ask crazy. the question. Yeah. It's because of me with my, my lead ins. So no, it's because of me. Would you, would you rather, and you have to pick one work from home, like permanently or work in an office, even if you were like right next door, like five minute walk or something. Work like if home. you were close to the office, 
Would you prefer work from home or the office? Office. Office. Interesting. Five minutes why? away. Like, give me like, like one reason why. It gets I guess. me out of the house. It gets me away from somebody else in my family who may also work from the house. Uh, <laughs> I get the human interaction with the other people who work in the house. For, work, work, not in the house. Work in the office. Uh, I get to go places and do things with those people. I get to. I used to work in an office and hang out with two really amazing people when really bad things were happening and I'd sit on their desks and hang out. And while it was an awful situation, it's a lot for me. It's a lot easier to get information from people when you can be right in front of them, especially people who are not very good communicators via electronic motives like, uh, Slack or, uh, you know, teams chat and stuff like that. So when somebody is in a very stressful situation to be near them, to get the information, but also to be able to help them out is incredibly helpful. Uh, I have the luxury. I know a lot of people would not say this, but I have the luxury of working in the same exact literal office, the, the same four walls as my boss. And we get to bounce ideas off of each other. And I have a very great working relationship with my boss. So this may be just, you know, a little less for me. But I I appreciate that. Um, I love, like, walking out and having random conversations. All right. Your time's up, Kelly. Moving on. What? There's no timers. (laughs) Except for, except for, and it wasn't just your list. I said, I I led the question with keep this short. Yeah. yeah, well, it, it, um, I will say, I will say, because I didn't my, want, I want a quick answer, not, I don't want to like go answer. deep into gave, your, like, if you had a, to give, she gave a quick answer. Like, if you have to, yeah. like, if we have to give one reason, like, why, oh. like, that's what I want to hear. I understand, like, what you're saying. Like, I'm with you, but yeah. it's just, I, I, yeah. if I lived an hour away from where I worked, though, the answer may be a little bit different. I would gotcha. not. I, knowing what I know now, I would not live that far away from where I work. Yeah. Like that wouldn't like the question wouldn't matter. Like location yeah. you're like either right next door or whatever. Yeah. What about you, Phoenix? Well, you said sit at home pretty much for all the reasons Kelly gave. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, basically this is the opposite. <laughs> No, I just like I, I will do I almost all those things electronically, response. and and if if I can not be physically around people at work, that's fine. Now, leisure time completely different, mm. but yeah. work, no. Yeah, so I, my I'm, answer would be I'm work from home as well. People at work. Yeah, I like I like the work from physically home, around. Like, just I'll for the fact that the uh, yeah, but just for the fact that like. Like if I need to use the restroom, it's like right there. If I want a snack, like my fridge is downstairs. Like I don't have to, you know, shell out a few bucks here and there buying like snacks and things. I, so like that's always convenient. I and, don't think so. Here's the deal. Like I like when I, I literally eat all day at my desk because I bring. Well, my food you from also. Home. Well, you also work in an industry that has food, so it does. But I, I, I do, I do get some of that. But I literally am eating like I do get carrot so much sticks cream every now and <laughs> and cookies. Oh my god! Today was I got raw cookie dough, and it was so oh, good. Baby. Oh my god! Oh my god! I had three brand new ice creams and a couple of other R and D things that I cannot mention <laughs> that were incredible. Nice. But I typically. I'm a huge like sandwich machines being. building it. Yeah, I, I would like to say in and I'm and I'm trying to do this without doxing, but yeah. I would like to say that the ice cream, I, I didn't think about this mm-hmm. until I saw them, but the ice cream cookies that you have at that store are off the fucking chain. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? <laughs> There's oh like yeah, they are super thick of ice cream. Yep. In between. It's a lot of ice cream and the cookies, the 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 ice cream we call them a puck. That we we put the, the it's a mold that we put the ice cream in because it looks like a big hockey puck. Yeah, but it goes to the edge of the cookie. Yeah, 
Yeah. We don't waste no space. No, yeah, my there's there's no yeah. there's no air. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. it's oh god. There's you no get, air. You get what you pay <laughs> there's for. There's a vacuum. <laughs> so so do, do you mind if I talk about mm-hmm. a game really quick? Mm-hmm. I would love it if you did. So this is a departure, and this is kind of what I was hinting to earlier when I was saying about um, visuals, uh, because this is not a video game. Kapow! Kapow is a, uh, and, and I think I'm going to probably bring this to me with pack to PAX, uh, okay. but cool. it is a superhero game, uh, which is, it's interesting because each hero and, and they got villains too, okay. has different special abilities. Like this, this guy is spoiler alert. So some of his, his uh, uh, special abilities are craving back in vitamin D overdose injection taunt. Um, and you know, these different, um, these different powers are all powered by different symbols. Like you would see on you know, like any dice game, you know, you know, you have these different symbols and they provide, you know, you know it was my arm they used for that. It was, it was clearly was your arm. Mom. And, nice. you know, very similar to like Yahtzee where you like re-roll some stuff. What makes this one fun and unique is this dice right here that has nothing on it. Uh-oh. Because as you go through the game, you basically pick up and purchase dice faces. <gasps> oh, that you can cool. sock it into the mine. And you roll it like like if you only have bought one and you only have one on this, you know, six sided dice. Well, you got a one six chance of getting something. Otherwise, you get nothing. <clears throat> but then as you go on, <laughs> that's pretty neat. You put in little other dice faces. That's so, really cool. Um, very cool. I, I know it's not it's terrible because people that uh, can't see the podcast can't see this dice that I'm holding up real close to the camera uh, and showing the little places where it goes in. But yeah, it's uh it's got like several villains, several, uh, I even got the expansion pack, several, um, heroes. You know, this is, uh, elusivity. And she has entice flit blast adrenaline entangle sing and signal. So nice. Um, Very cool. That's a and, neat. And it's got like this, like story that you play in chapters. From my understanding, uh, the the rule book is done up like a comic book. Uh huh. Yeah, it looks cool. That's what so I thought. That's you were really holding cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, the comic book. Yeah. So yeah, that, look look forward to you know like that in the in our future at least. Maybe we'll talk more about it later, but who knows? Can Can I tell you guys? Can I show you guys something that I just recently bought? Oh God. It's a candle. Uh, it's a candle. It's a candle. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's hilarious. Today drinking candle. And it says, smells like it's not too early. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Do you just and smell it on your desk? That's all you do now? <laughs> I haven't lit it yet, actually. I've, You're like, I've, she's like double fisting. Like she has I'm her like, wine I glass. Know. And then <laughs> I'll tell you candle. guys. I This candle has been sitting here because I wanted to show you guys. But I've almost picked it up to try to drink it a couple oh, of God. times. Yeah. Oh, wait. You, you, got, you got another show and tell. You got your tank top, too. Oh, yeah. my um, This is my spooky pinball tank top that uh, someone, someone yeah. very sweet got for me while they were at the um, Southern Pride Gaming Conference that I couldn't go to because yeah. I had COVID. Which, yeah, it's coming up in July, yeah, so you you'll probably be able to mm-hmm. get up to that one. I mean, it looks like I'd go with it again. Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah exactly. Um, yeah, and, and yeah. Uh, especially since I especially got that because Spooky Pinball specifically got the license and made a pinball game based off of uh, Halloween. The Halloween Michael franchise. Myers. Oh my God. Yeah. It was amazing. one of your favorites. Mm hmm. Which current game and game speaking of conferences, super special. We are going to Atlanta Comic Conference or Atlanta. Can we call it Atlanta Comic Con? I know we're no, not I supposed think that's, to. But... I really think that's trademarked. Okay, Atlanta Comic Con- Convention. Convention. Um. So, uh, what are you guys looking forward to seeing there most? Not anything really specific. I mean, okay. outside of obviously like the 
the certain actors or actresses that like I'm into, but like, oh, yeah, that's just because but I'm not going to like, I'm not going to like meet them or anything. I'm just going to like see them from a distance. So that's whatever, but like just, you know, the experience haven't, yeah. I haven't attended this one before. So it'd be just fun to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. It should, it should be definitely be interesting. Yeah. Sorry. I had to get that pinball yeah. in for day Thank three. you. Yeah. No, I love that. Um, well, cool. I, I am, uh, really there. It looks like there are going to be a lot of really cool things there. There is, um, a gaming section that I'm interested in checking out. Mm-hmm. I am Tabletop very excited. E games. In, they call it. Yeah. E games. Yeah. Not uh, sure also that's different than video games or what it'll be. It should be interesting to find out. We'll find yeah. out. <laughs> it's the new Af- after being at Dragon Con, which is a huge um, cosplay convention, yep. I think there's going to be a lot of cosplay at this one as well. And I am looking forward to seeing what people are wearing. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's yeah. always fun. Yeah. So uh, I know that somebody is going to be cosplaying for sure. <laughs> we have our very own Star Lord. Oh, I did it the right way. Yes. <laughs> so. I was yeah. going to say our star Lord. <laughs> yeah. For, for the visually that. impaired uh, that are listening. She, we, we frequently <clears throat> forget that our cameras reverse stuff. So we mm. like point off at the wrong direction. Then the person she pointed to the correct direction. So kudos. Yeah. Thank you. I was like, uh, high five. The opposite. Oh, oh, you can't see my arm, but there you go. <laughs> And on that note, see, Daedric is in the uh, middle, so she can just do both sides at once. Wait, that came out. I think that oh, is yeah, what that got was... her attention this <laughs> week. Oh my god! <laughs> so uh, check us out, sasgaming.com. We're on YouTube, Sass Gaming, and uh, we'll see you guys One, next two, time. Three. <laughs> Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>